Hey guys. What's up, guys? Wow. Same wow, yes, today. we are reading the score backwards. Um, only because oh, there's yeah. camera. Right. But yes. But you know what it says. You know what the fuck it says. And it, it is doesn't say I f range ha P. <laughs> it says New York Rangers Flyers 9. Rangers come out and just straight up beat the Flyers 9 nothing yeah. on this St. Paddy's Day. Yeah. Wow. I mean, like, holy fuck. What do we even say about this game? You can start it off because I got a ton of stuff. stuff. Say so you start it out. Okay. Uh, and let me know what's going on. Okay. So we came up off the loss of the 4 5 loss, whatever. And then it wasn't Kincaid, it was Georgia, which I was like, why isn't Igor back? But I was still excited to have him in there. And he showed up. Mm -hmm. And then the very beginning, Zabinajad is like assisting, making assists, I mean. And it's like, hey, he's looking good. He's looking good tonight. And then he just starts going. I don't know if you want to explain all that. But he, he did great tonight. Zabinja did great tonight. Georgia did great tonight. It was crazy. Breaking yeah. records. Crazy. Uh, crazy game. A quick breakdown right now. Yeah. Uh, like, Rangers come out first period. Go up 2-0. Um, so we're looking at a reverse situation on Monday night's game where the Flyers go up 2-0. And then all of a sudden the Rangers come out flying in the second period and score three goals. Here we are Wednesday, St. Paddy's Day. Uh, Rangers go up 2 nothing, come out flying in the second period, and score seven fucking goals. Yeah. Seven goals for yeah. the Rangers here in the second period. Um, we thought about, like, looking at score sheet. I mean, we could probably rattle off most of them. Oh, yeah. We'll just keep to the, no, we can just keep to the key ones. Okay. I mean, it's a 9 nothing win, and a lot of people contributed. We'll talk to, like, the stars of the game so far. I mean... Second period, Zabanajed. Zabanajed. I must just say it one more time. <laughs> Zabanajed. Um, yeah. Like, put the jersey on when I got yeah. home today. I had a feeling about it. Yeah. Going to put the Zabanajed jersey on. I think I said that to you. I was like, I just got a feeling. Yeah. Um, comes out in second period, six fucking points. Six fucking points. Three goals, natural hat trick. Three assists. Um, Wow. After such a struggling, struggling year. Um, but like I said, he's been putting up points quietly here and there. He's not scoring goals up until tonight. Um, but he was putting points on the board. An assist here, an assist there. A lot of assists building up. Still points. I feel like just the last few games, though. Sorry. I feel like the last few games he's been like assisting more. He's been like coming up a little bit. You know yeah, what I mean? He's been building up. Yeah. He's been building up. You can feel it. You can yeah. feel it. And you said with the tonight's goal when he had the breakaway, like so many times we've seen it, and it mm -hmm. hasn't happened. But I mean, what else? Yeah, he gets a shorthanded goal, a power play goal. I mean, Zabanajad was unstoppable in that second period, unfucking stoppable. Um, Buchnevich, two goals, two assists. Adam Fox in the lineup, he gets the assist on the first goal. Beautiful pass to Lemieux for the first goal of the game. Panarin with another goal. I mean. Truba Heedle. Yeah, Truba Heedle will get one. Uh, I think even Strom gets one. I mean, <clears throat> I could even be wrong about the Strom one. I mean, just an outstanding effort for the Rangers tonight. I mean, 9 nothing. you're talking about, that's record-setting, like, for NHL nowadays. Like, that's record-setting shit. Uh, just watching this team come off a 5 4 nothing loss in overtime against the Flyers, and then they just literally come out here and uh, they'll just say it and just make them their bitch, pretty much, <laughs> like in that game. I mean, Georgiev back in net. Uh, I mean, he played well. He yeah. had to make a couple big saves. Yeah. Uh, Rangers chase Elliott. You know, Carter Hart comes in, gets lit up. That was the first shot Carter Hart faced when he came in for uh, Elliott in Philadelphia. It was his abandoned breakaway shorthanded goal. Now, when you're a goalie coming into a game, especially a starter, you got to come into a, a you, your team's on the power play. You come in and let a shorthanded goal in right off the bat. That's fucking funny to me because you know we scored it, but that's for the goalie. It's like, what are yeah. you guys doing, yeah. man? Like I'm we're up a guy and I'm getting scored on yeah. shorthanded on a breakaway. Like right there, confidence shaking. No matter what. Yep. 
Um, and then after that, the Rangers just continued to go to town on them. Yeah. I mean, I mean, go to town. Yeah. And I'm not just talking about scoring goals. I mean, there were hits. There were takeaways. Blocks. I mean, the Rangers played so great in the neutral zone. They were just literally taking pucks away from the Flyers. Like, taking them like, like they owed them money. Taking them. Like, they were there to collect. Like, that's how they played that game. I'm not... Saying this because I'm like a, like a, I hate the Flyers so much. I just love the Rangers. So yeah, though no, they played outstanding in that period. Uh, third period was kind of like it was what it was. Yeah. We were all like, we wanted ten, we wanted ten. Yeah, even the crowd was cheering. Oh, you were man. saying that right towards yeah. the end. We want crowd, ten. We I want was saying we want ten. It would have been really nice ten nothing. That's fine. Nine nothing. Like you can't complain you about can't that. Complain. But it they said nice to see ten though. Yeah, really ten nothing would have been awesome. I, I would like joked and said, oh, it's 10 nothing, you know what I mean? It's got to be 10 to count, because you used to say that when you played video games. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh... And it showing doesn't count, so it's 10. Right, but I was joking at, like, 5 nothing, and then it was so close. But it was all right, it was great. It was, yeah. Did we mention the coaches were all different? I don't think we oh, talked shit, yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, all that the coaches out. Too. That's crazy, yeah, I forgot about that. So, like, Buchnevich and uh, Adam Fox... Come back Came from Kodo protocol, sure. and the entire Giuseppe Rangers, didn't. yeah, entire Rangers coaching staff goes on protocol. Go on, go on. So we got the AHL call up. Um, something Wolves, Knoblock, something. I forgot his name yes, from the Knoblock, Hartford Wolves right. pack. Uh-huh. Knoblock, uh, uh, coach in uh, Hartford comes up. Yep. Um, he has another one of his guys come up, and then of course Chris Jury, ex captain the Rangers. You know, like oh seven, oh eight, oh nine kind of shit. Um, so he comes in, and now it's just really funny to watch Al- everybody who hates David Quinn be like, fire David Quinn, fire David Quinn. All of a sudden, the whole coaching staff's out for one game, and like, look what the fuck really? happens. <laughs> uh, they just go 9 nothing. Um, and, like, I know the scouting report was in by the time the Hartford coaches came up. Like, there probably wasn't really much to do, just be there to be the coach. But, like, regardless of that or not, like, this is just going to look so funny in the couple of days going forward, when David Quinn comes back, because yes, he will come back. Oh yeah. Um, but like, this is gonna be one of those games. At this point, it's not even like a win against the Fly. I mean, it is a win against the Flyers. I think the fans are gonna look at it as more as, well, he was gone and we just won nine yes. nothing. Yes. This has become like a coaching staff battle. Yeah. At this point, like, yeah. regardless of the win. Against two hockey teams, which I'm not taking that away from the Rangers. It's just so funny that it happened during this COVID situation. Yes. Here's my question. <laughs> are they going to do another game? Or is it back to Quinn next game? Well, now at this point, if we were going to say, are are they going to do another game? Now we got to start talking to the GM. The GM, because that shit goes higher than that. I mean, I imagine, like I said, I just imagine these COVID. coaches are under contract. No, no, no. They're I mean, probably. Just... I know what you're saying. I know oh, what you're okay. saying. Okay. Just okay. let sorry, it roll. Sorry. Like, and that could happen. The GM could just be like, "Yo, why don't you take another game off to make sure?" And let me make sure this wasn't something crazy. I highly doubt that'll be the situation, but knowing New York and its stipulation or uh, superstitions, you never know. Maybe they'll just play. Maybe okay. they'll just play again as a coaching staff. But again, I'm not taking that away from the Rangers at all. Like, Zabana Jed was easily the best player on the ice. I mean, no doubt about it. He put up six points in one period. Yeah. That's, I mean, this will be the game that's talked about probably for the rest of the week. Unless something crazy happens. That's what I'm saying. This was the game. Like You're going to talk about this game whether you watch hockey or not. Like, you, even if you don't watch hockey, you're going to hear about this. Yeah. And like I said, being on St. Patrick's Day, everyone tomorrow, if you tell them, they're going to be like, how much were you drinking yesterday? Mm-hmm. That is not true. You're like, yeah, it is. It's crazy. What a game for St. Patrick's Day. What a game in general. If somebody asked me that question, I would tell them a lot. But I'd also be like, <laughs> it also happens. Right. But, I mean, all right. So, like, yeah. I, I was talking on the stream about, like, comparing this game to Zabana Jets' five-goal game. Right. Now, in hindsight, it, it kind of seems like the five-goal game was was better than this game. I think that game will be remembered definitely more than this one. But this game, I think, was Zabana Jed's best game of his career. Um, I know he had the five-goal game, like I said, and he scored dramatically in overtime against the Capitals last year. But this game, this guy single-handedly went out there and put six points on the board in one period. 
you know, he had five points in that game, and then he put six in this 20 minutes right here. Um, I mean, I know what you're, like, it's, you know, it's occasional hockey where, like, he he was at the right place in the five-goal game. I'm not taking that away from him. But, and, like, you really got to look at this period. Like, like, he flew under the radar, and he was skating his ass off down the ice, up and down on those goals. And he finally got that fucking breakaway in that we've been watching him miss all year. I mean, it was a great game. It really was. It really was a fucking great game for him. Probably, like I said, best game of his career, I think. Just to add on to your thing, too, like, he's not been doing well. I have said the past few games, it looks like he's going faster, yeah. like he's trying harder, but for most of the season, he wasn't. So to step up today, it was just like, wow, he's assisting a lot. That's impressive. And yeah, then he exactly. got a goal, and it's like, oh, wow, that's great. And then he got a hat trick. Like, that's amazing. Like, that's that. going from struggling a lot to amazing. Yeah. Not just a little better, like... I said after a second when I was like, I would be great if you got the hat trick tonight. And he did. That's why I put the jersey on. Yeah. Put the jersey on. You just, you knew he was breaking out. Like, you knew it. And, like, this, he was on the bench. He's smiling. He's fucking kind of looking like old, old manager. I said that a bunch of times. Like, there he is. I'm not saying you got to put, put on six points a period or even a game. But... I mean, he tied the record, or maybe, yeah, I think he tied yeah. the record for most points in a regular season game for the New York Rangers since God knows how long. I mean, we might even go me and back before the 80s. They brought it up. We'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, um, I could be wrong, but did they say that he got the most for the Rangers, but tied for for NHL? Oh, that, um, yeah, you might be right. Yeah, tied for NHL. But be most for like Rangers. a New York Ranger for points in a period. I think that is. Um, they should just do like an even time check and see from like time to time to see how many yeah. points that was because they were rapid fire, man. Yeah, he was dropping bombs like left and right. Um, as far if it wasn't an assist, his primary assist, then it was a goal by him. Like that's how that second period went. Yeah. Just real quick about the coaching, too. I'm just curious what's going to happen next game. How is next game going to go? It's against the Capitals, so they're kind of, they're, they are a hard team, right? The yeah, Capitals? yeah, the Capitals will be up there, definitely. If, higher than Philly, I'd say. If Quinn is back and they do bad, is it like, oh, Quinn is back, this is what happened? Is the, if the other coaches are there and they do bad, is it like, oh, it was just a fluke this game? Uh, yeah. If the other coaches are there and they do good, is it like, yeah, we really have to get rid of Quinn, you know? It's going to be very interesting next game. I'm excited to see who's coaching, what's going on, and how the game plays out. I hope they win Yeah. in yeah. general. I mean, it's always, like, but... Obviously, the fans are going to say something if this game is like a blowout or something. Like, they're going to be, oh, well, if I could leave the Hartford coach. coach right. in. But no, they have another job to do. They're filling in. This is how this works. Everybody can say whatever the fuck they want. Like, oh, well, you should have kept the coaches. No, no. They have their own team to coach. They're trying to make the playoffs. David Corden has to do this job. But that's what so, I want to see. Like, you know... The, today was great. Hopefully it wasn't a fluke. Hopefully on the right path, regardless what coaches come in, too. Hopefully this is just the Rangers taking off and getting their Zabanjit back yep. to his old self and everything going good. Knock on wood. Hope Georgiev doing good. Everything good. Adam Fox is back in, obviously, and which like, it was, it was a great game. It was a great game. Yeah. Uh, but we are running out of time here. Yeah. We literally have, like, 30 seconds. Less than that. So, seconds. like, here's the closing words. Great game for the Rangers. Yeah. Great St. Paddy's Day. Thank yeah. you for everybody who hung Thank out with you. us. And came um, back every time. Thank yeah. you so much, Just everybody. a great game. Like, yeah. Thanks for watching this post game, too. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah.